Hey everybody in room 130. Um, this week we are reading about the Irwin family helping animals. So the Irwin, Mr. Irwin, Steve Irwin, was a big animal activist. It went back when I was younger. Um, he passed away actually helping animals and his family has taken f suit in his footsteps. So let's read our story. Hopefully you guys have a pen like or a pencil like M Mr. West does. And let's start reading. Remember, we start on page one. And then follow along, please. A famous family helps many wild animals. This family is the Irwin family from Australia. The Irwin family has a TV show. The Irwin family owns a zoo called the Australia Zoo. Turn the page. Australia had big wildfires in 2019 and 2020. Wildfires burn quickly through the wilderness. The wildfires hurt many wild animals. The Irwin family wanted to help the animals. The Irwin family brought animals to the Australia Zoo. Turn the page. Okay, so everybody should be on page three now. Double check. The Australia Zoo is in Queensland, Australia. The Australia Zoo includes a hospital for wild animals. Doctors cared for the hurt animals at the hospital. The animals included koalas, billybees, kangaroos, foxes, and platypuses. Turn the page. Double check we're on page four now. Some animals had burns from the wildfires. Doctors gave them medicine to the animals. Doctors cared for the animals day and night. The Irwin family helped care for the animals too. Together they have helped more than 90,000 animals. That's a lot of animals. Turn the page. Page number five. The Irwin family has helped animals for many years. A famous zookeeper was part of the Irwin family. The zoo that zookeeper was Steve Irwin. He's the dad of the family. Steve helped animals his whole life. Steve died in 2006. Turn the page. Page 6. The Irwin family continues to help animals. The Irwin family includes Steve's wife, Terry Irwin. Steve and Terry have two kids. Their daughter, Bindi Irwin, is 21 years old. Their son, Robert Irwin, is 16 years old. Turn the page. The Irwin family started a TV show in 2018. This TV show is called Crikey. It's the Irwins. The TV show is about the Irwin family. The TV show films the Irwin family caring for animals. It films the Irwin family helping animals around the world. Turn the page. Should be on page 8. The Irwin family loves animals. They care for animals at the Australia Zoo. The Irwin family helped animals after the Australia wildfires. They cared for animals at the zoo hospital. Would you like to care for animals? Turn the page. Page 9. Alright, people in the news. The Irwin family. The Irwin family cares for animals at the Australia Zoo. Terry Irwin is from Eugene, Oregon. She met and married Steve Irwin in Australia. Bindi Irwin was married at the Australia Zoo in March. Robert Irwin is a wildlife photographer. So remember, Steve is the dad, Terry is the mom, Bindi is the daughter, and Robert is the son. Turn the page. 
places in the news. The Australia Zoo. The Australia Zoo is in Queensland, Australia. The Australia Zoo is 50 years old in 2020. Steve Irwin's parents started the Australia Zoo in 1970. Zoo visitors can learn about many animals. They can feed and pet animals too. Turn the page. Okay, let's do a page check. Page 11. Hopefully everybody's there. Queensland, Australia. The Australia Zoo is in Queensland, Australia. Queensland is in an area in northeastern Australia. The Coral Sea is off the coast of Queensland. The Great Barrier Reef is in the Coral Sea. Many people snorkel and dive around the reef. Turn the page. Okay, this is Mr. West's favorite time of the day. Our first joke page. Knock, knock. Who's there? Own. Own who? Only a month until summer. That's not good. All right, let's go to page 14 with the better joke. Hopefully. I have a joke. Tell me, where do wild animals work out? I don't know, where? The jungle gym. That was, that was okay. Still pretty bad. But, let's turn the page. So remember, now we're on page 15. So, it's, this is the game page. So choose the picture about Irwin family helps animals. So remember, we have to look at all the pictures per line. There is one that it does not belong that we were that we read in the Irwin Family Helps Animals. So let's start with this line. First one is koala. Do we read about koalas? Yes, it was on the second page. And koalas were helped by the Irwin family because they might have gotten burns in the wildfires. The second one, dictionary. Hmm, did we hear anything about dictionaries? No. We didn't learn about dictionaries in this story. What about help? Did anyone help anyone else in this story? Yes, they did. The Irwin family helps all of the animals that they can. And last but not least, the wilderness on this line. What was going through the world wilderness in the story? The wildfires. So they, the Irwins were helping all the animals out. Okay, so now our second line. Ooh, I just gave you the answer for that one. We learned about the Irwins with the wildfires. So let's circle that one. Was there anyone hurt? Did they talk about anyone or anything being hurt in the story? Yes, they did. The animals were hurt. So that's a good answer. Okay, now plant. Did it, do the Irwins help plant things? No, they don't. Well, I'm sure they have in the past, but not. they didn't mention that in this story. So we are going to go X on that one. Wah, wah. And family. Were there, was there a family in this story? Yeah, the Irwins. All the Irwin family. Okay, so next line. Sewing. A sewing machine. Did they mention the sewing machine? No, they did not in the story. Wah, wah. No sewing machines. All right, what about wild animals? This should be a pretty easy one. The Irwins help all the wild animals, so that is correct. Okay. What about Australia? Yes, they live in Australia, and they have a zoo in Australia. All right, and kangaroo. Did they help a kangaroo? Yeah, they, the kangaroo was in that list of animals that they helped after the wildfires. Good job. All right, now our last line. Zookeepers. Yep, they are zookeepers. All the other ones are, because they own a zoo. Now zoo. Well, if they're zookeepers, they're probably in a zoo. So let's circle that one. That one's right. All right, and medicine. Did they... Did they give medicine to animals? Yes, they did to help them feel better. And tornadoes. Did they talk about tornadoes? Wah, wah. Wrong. No tornadoes. Okay, let's turn the page. 
Okay. All right, so let's read the questions and I'll give you grab your pencils and hopefully you guys already had them for the last page. But I'm gonna read the read the question and the answers and you guys try to circle the right one before I can. Okay? All right. So what is the paper about? Sharing happiness, Greta Thunberg and Earth, or the Irwin Family Helps Animals? I'll give you a sec. Circle the right answer. Hopefully you all circled the Irwin Family Helps Animals, because that's what our whole story was about. Number two, who helps many wild animals? The Irwin Family, Susan B. Anthony, or Martin Luther King Jr.? Right, take a second. And hopefully you all circled the Irwin family because that's who helps animals. All right, number three. Where did the Irwin family bring animals? The International Spy Museum. Sounds pretty cool. NASCAR Hall of Fame. Not as cool. Or the Australia Zoo. Pick the right answer before I do. All right, hopefully you circled the Australia Zoo, because that's where they take all the animals. All right, where, number four. Where is the Irwin family from? Iceland, Australia, or Taiwan? Circle the right answer, and I will give you a second. All right, hopefully everyone circled Australia, because that's where the, where the Irwins are from. Where did the doctors care for animals? A school, a hospital, or a museum? All right, so where do doctors care for animals? Go ahead and circle the right answer. If you circle the right answer, that answer is the hospital, because that's where doctors work. What are koalas and kangaroos? Wild animals, farm animals, or sea animals? This one wasn't mentioned in the in the story, but hopefully you'll get the right answer. They are wild animals because they are not farm animals and they are not sea animals, even though some sea animals are wild animals too. All right, turn the page. So remember, this is our crossword page. We should be on page 17. So this time to, to start at number one, we have to go down. And the answer is family. So look for number one. Oh, there's number one. F A M I L and Y. Okay. So let's move on to number two. Okay, there's number two, and it's a toughie. It's Australia. So where's our number two? So remember, we have to capitalize A because it's a proper place. A, U, S, T, R, A, L, I, A. Australia. Alrighty, good job. So let's go to number three. And the answer is wildfires. So let's find number three. Wildfires. So W, I. L D F I R E and S wildfires. All right, so to go to number four, we have we are now going across and we find the number four. There it is, and it's the word help. So H E L is already there, and we go P. All righty, so number five is our last down. So five is medicine, another toughie. So let's find number five, there it is. Okay, so M, E, D, I, C, I, N, and E. Good job. Okay, so medicine. All right, so now we go back to a cross because we're looking for number six and we have wilderness. Jeez, there's a lot of big words in here today. So, W, I, L's already there, D, E, R's already there, N, E is already there, and S, S. Okay, wilderness. 
All right, so number seven is hurt. So number seven is right here. So H U R is there and T. All right, number eight. It's right here. It's across, and it's wild animals. So W I L D. Then they give us a space. A's are you there? N I's are you there? M A L and S is already there. Good job. So last one. Then we're done for the day. Number nine is zookeeper. So zookeeper. So Z O O K E E P E and R. Zookeeper. Okay, guys. So that was our Irwin's Family Helps Animal Story. I hope you guys are healthy and all your families are healthy. I miss you guys a lot. And I'll have some, some news for your families tomorrow when I give you guys a call about summer school. I'm sure you guys will be more excited than your parents will be. Um, all right, guys. I miss you. I'll see you soon. See ya.